I don't know, three grand, three grand around plus minus down the drain. So I'm a little worried, honestly. We've probably drained only about a quart out of there. Oh, oh. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode from Backyard Boys. This is gonna be the official comeback. I'm super pumped, super excited. We're currently at the shop right now. What we're doing is getting the keys from the truck because we gotta pick up the trailer and we are down to California. We bought a brand new build and it's literally my dream car. I actually love it more than the Huracan, believe it or not. But guys, we don't have much time. This video is gonna be extremely exciting and it's super fun. So smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, BYB Tim, and I just got brand new merch. So don't forget to cop yourself a merch. I got one of these in white and in black, super limited, super awesome. I don't know if you guys can tell what's going on, but I can quickly explain. BYB throttle position sensor, we got throttle body. There's a main, what's it called? Say it, flywheel. <laughs> Anyways. I'm super pumped guys. I'm literally like stuttering. Let's go get the keys, hop in the truck and head down to California. Smash that like button and let's go. Give it a shot. Five bucks for five plays. You guys doing good? This guy, his video came with you. What the heck? I it always slip right off. It's a scam, you know that? I know. That's what I'm saying. It always slips right off. Look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sick GTR. All right, guys, so we just had some breakfast at. Denny's right now we're gonna go ahead and pick up a M3 that we're driving all the way to Cali and um, the reason why we're picking it up is because I might as well pick up a load on the way there that way I'm not hauling an empty trailer there so we're gonna get paid drop that car off and then pick up the G80 M3 and bring it back Guys, so we just pulled up to Foreign Build's shop. We didn't come here last night. It got too dark on us. I did not want to post and show you guys some garbage content. So it's nice and beautiful. We're in Sacramento right now. It's 78 degrees. It's such a beautiful weather. Like, man, first time wearing shorts in a while. Well, I kind of lied because I was just in Dominican, but you guys get the point. In Seattle, we don't wear shorts as often as we'd like. But let's go check out the car. We're gonna have some difficulties loading it. I know that because one control arm is busted. And the reason why it's at forum builds right now, even though I want the car in Los Angeles, Anaheim, Anaheim. So basically what happened, the mirrors were stolen on the vehicle. And um, I wanted a buddy of mine to pick up the vehicle from the auction. That way I can actually have footage of the car being on the lot. That way I can possibly prove to IAAI that the mirrors were stolen on the lot and hopefully they'll refund me some money because mirrors are like 1500 bucks a piece. So not cheap. If you're the guy that stole the mirrors, you're messed up, bro. <laughs> Honestly, you're just, that's a savage move uh, because I reached out to the original owner. He says he did not take off the mirrors. Um, yeah, let's go check out the car. We're still waiting for Tim to pull up. He's gonna open up the shop. I'm super pumped, super excited. Energy levels are high. Let's go. Yo, is that BYB? <laughs> you know who this is? You guys know this familiar face. Dennis from LND, the guy that does all my seatbelts and all the interior work basically, right? What else do you do? You do everything. Yo, we should do a Starlight in the F8, in the G80, you know? I think there's a lot of people in Cali that ruined that Starlight yeah. game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but... Put it on everything. You got the keys? I'm trying to see my G80. Oh, it's gone. Oh, really? Just the mirrors left. What's up, bro? How you doing? This is Tim from Foreign Bills right here. He's the man that's gonna open this bad boy up. Say what's up to the fans. Hey, what's up, fans? Let's go. Subscribe <laughs> to his channel. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I'm gonna charge you for that, brother. All right. 15K bill. <laughs> Y'all ready for it? MTV crib right here. <laughs> you guys can go see it first. Go look, <laughs> go look at it. Yo! 
What's going on here, though? Mmm, it looks so sick. All right, guys, so we just came into the shop. Whoa, this thing looks absolutely stunning. It's literally gorgeous. It's so sick. The color is just vibrant, and um, it's kind of dim in here, and I don't want to pose bad content. So what I want to do is get this thing out of here, at least outside, at least somewhere. I know we're going to have a pain in the butt to load it. I did ask the guys at Foreign Bills to put this thing on a charger, but it's a lithium ion battery. So we didn't do that, but we do have a jump box that's alive and they already bypassed the battery safety terminal. That way we can get this thing started up. But I'm a little bit scared to start it right now. We have oil right here on the ground from the oil cooler. And I wanna make sure this thing has oil prior, just prior to starting it because I don't wanna ruin an engine that costs a bunch of money. So yeah, and uh, I did wanna give a massive, massive shout out to Naz and Tim from Forum Builds for helping me out with the logistics of getting this vehicle from LA, which is about five hours from here, back here, to Sacramento, it just helps me out. And with the whole mirror situation, they got footage on site. That way we can maybe have a little battle with IAA or maybe not. So let's go ahead and probably, I'm not sure what the order of operation is gonna be right now. We're gonna check it out. <sighs> Car looks so sick. The carbon interior seats, the carbon buckets, everything is just stunning. But let's get this thing outside. Let's at least push it outside. Let's do, do something. I was thinking to maybe crank this car up, get the oil drained out of it, make sure there's oil, and then maybe pour some new oil in there and then bypass that thing so we can drive the car in the trailer. So I don't know, we'll think of something right now, but huge shout out to Forum Builds. Make sure you guys are subbed to their YouTube channel. Make sure you guys are following them on Instagram. It's my boy right there, he's filming a video too. So you gotta, you gotta, yeah, check that video out. Drop a like, let's get this video going. We have a little mishap right now. <clears throat> We're thinking how to get this thing basically linked back to here. That way we have a circuit here so we can have oil return back to the motor. Bro. Yeah. Hear me out, hear me out. Okay, go ahead. Drill a hole, right? Right. Duct tape, mm -hmm. JB weld. Okay. Feed it into that one. Oh. Okay, so I grab the ball. Yeah. I shoot it. Yeah. I miss. I, I switched it! Oh. What kind of shooter are you, man? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, hey. It doesn't look like motor oil. So, you know what I can do? I can, I can buy some kind of tubing, put it on here, and then just C-clamp it with a hose clamp it, and then hose clamp it to that. This is enough room. This is enough, yeah. enough leverage for So, let's go ahead and pop that off, because I think we're going to we're gonna have to run down to O'Reilly's to buy those two things. So I'm a little worried, honestly. We've probably drained only about a quart out of there. It's supposed to be six. But why I'm not worried is because nobody started the car. Once the car got in an accident, the airbags blow and the safety terminal just popped off and you can't start after that. Nobody tampered with it before us, so I should be, we should be safe, technically speaking. If the motor's blown, then <clears throat> I ain't gonna comment anymore, I'm gonna cry. We got a jump box on? We got a jump box on? Yeah, no? Should. Oh yeah, that's it right there. All right, boys. On three. One, two, three. Aw. Oh, Part two, yo. It almost started itself. On three. One, two. That'll do it right there. Oh, you know it, you freaking know it. Let's see if it's leaking anything. Nah, she looks dry. Look what we did here. Look that bypass? Yep, looks OEM. I'm probably gonna leave it like that. <laughs> parts are not cheap. Probably just drive it home at this point. All right, so we got that started up. Now let's do the rest of the logistics.
Yo, so we got it all loaded up. Guys, this color in the sun is just something else. So we went ahead and put a bunch over here, just like a rubber strap, make sure this doesn't come up. And then we have a safety because I do not want my windshield being busted on our 12 hour road trip back home. It's looking good. Everything's loaded up. Got the bumper here, all the miscellaneous stuff inside. Once again, shout out to Foreign. Y'all are literally the MVP. Go smash that subscribe button and let's head on home. Yeah, it's good. All right, guys, we are finally back at the shop and I cannot be more pumped to show you guys this beast and explain to you guys why I love this car. This vehicle right behind me is literally my dream car. Currently at the moment, at the moment, you know how it is, things change. But this thing here is something I've been dreaming of as soon as it came out. On top of that, this one here in particular topples the Huracan just a little bit. And I will explain why to you right now. First things first, what we're gonna do is start off with the things I love about this car and then the, the bad things about the car. Like the, for example, the missing mirrors, the, the fact that they damaged some of my interior, things like that. But let's go ahead and start off with the rear end of this vehicle. We have no damage in the rear end besides a little itsy bitsy scratch right over here but you know what we're not going to worry about that right now see that kind of sucks i don't know what that's from either anywhere from the copar or anything but we're going to go ahead and highlight the beauty and the reason why i picked the m4 or sorry the m3 over the m4 so as you guys know the m4 and the m3 is basically the same car besides the fact that the m4 is a two-door coupe m3 is a four-door vehicle and personally i'm a coupe guy but in this specific vehicle and this specific body type i love love the m3 and let's go ahead and explain why so first things first is these detailed tail lights they're literally 3d they like stick out it's beautiful all the curves all the everything to this vehicle makes up this big fat rear end and it's just such a stunning look especially in red the reason why i went with toronto red or the reason why i wanted this car in particular is because carbon bucket seats and red what a flex so look at all those things that go together to make this rear end we have this piece here Makes the vehicle look flared out, wider, nice, like boxy diffuser. I love that. Makes the vehicle look fat, looks like super proportional, super proper M3 competition. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little spoiler alert. This vehicle here is gonna have a lot, and I mean a lot of carbon fiber, excessively too much carbon fiber, but hey, it is carbon fiber, so it's gonna be good. Let me show you guys reason number two why I am super obsessed with the M3 over the M4 because you can flex to your passengers that you have some carbon bucket seats. Come on, man, that is something to look at right there. Those seats are probably the best seats I've ever seen BMW ever make. Those are just super, super gorgeous. Next thing here is the restyled version of these competition wheels. They're super gorgeous. I love them and honestly, I'm at a point where I don't even know what to do. Like, should I swap these wheels out or what? Like, they look so perfect. They look so like, met for the car that I don't even know what to do. But Guys, in the comment section, comment down below what you guys think about wheels, what kind of wheels, what kind of mods, what kind of this, because this car here, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it for a while. I know I say that, I know I say that a lot, but my Lambo's been with me for like around a year already. This thing here is staying because ever since it came out, like I said, man, I just fell in love. But moving on forward, we have spacers in the vehicle. So there's some spacers you can see inside there. I'm not sure if the camera will capture that, but there's a spacer right there right there spacer but it's currently on stock suspension so i'm probably gonna lower you guys know my stance my setup is gonna be nice and wide and oem plus plus looking let's go ahead and move on further so this thing had a carbon fiber diffuser uh carbon fiber wing and stuff like that i found the original owner on instagram and he had all the parts and you know what he took them off righteously so i would too if i was giving my car to the auction he took them off but he did give the original parts with the car so the original black spoiler uh, the original black front bumper, um, little, I don't know what they're called, little fangs, they're all here. But like I said, we're gonna replace all that stuff with carbon fiber, so we should be solid. Look at this roof. This roof, minor things like this right here, just make it look so much better. It just makes it look 3D, it makes it look popping. It's not just a flat carbon roof, you know? They added some funny stuff right here, some fangs, some whatever you wanna call them, shark fins, but it looks absolutely stunning. So moving on to the interior, um, I did place, 
this rear floor mat into the interior. The battery is dead. The battery is a lithium ion. I did not have a charger for a lithium ion. I did order a charger. So we're going to get that thing charged up. And as you guys heard in California, we did get the vehicle started and driven onto the, uh, what's it called? The flatbed. So thank God for that. Although I was a very sketched that it only had one quarter oil. That is kind of sketchy. But thank God the airbags were blown, and since they were blown, nobody started the vehicle, and we have a perfect motor. A lot of people say that if the airbags are not blown and that lower oil cooler is shot, then 50% of the time, you have a bad motor. And if I had a bad motor in this vehicle, you guys would watch a 20-minute video of me crying. Anyways, moving on forward. I'm going to take this stuff out of the car because I don't want any of this stuff to damage the interior. We're going to do that in a little bit. What we got to do, really, is explain to you guys the situation with the mirrors. What the heck is going on with the mirrors? And IAAI, you guys have to step up to the plate and tell me what is going on with these mirrors. Either somebody stole them, because I reached out to the original owner. The original owner said that the mirrors were on the vehicle. The auction picture showed the mirrors on the vehicle. When I received the vehicle, the mirrors are missing. So, mirrors are like... 1500 bucks a piece plus minus why because these are with cameras they're super expensive kind of sad about that but it is what it is i think we can do i think we can figure something out with that another thing is whoever pulled the mirrors off they were kind of they kind of did it recklessly because in order to properly pull off the mirror you got to take out the door panel but you guys can see here take a look inside here he just kind of manhandled it over this piece you see that and uh, hopefully he didn't damage anything hopefully i can click it back into his position I mean, he left the tweakers, the speaker tweakers, and that's good. The door panels are still, still here. I was worried about that, but I don't know. Three grand, three grand around, plus minus, down the drain. Let's go to the interior. Guys, going on into the interior, this is another massive highlight to the BMW M3. I'm just in love. I know I'm a BMW guy, but guys, this is just something else. Starting from the seats. The seats are just perfect. I don't, I don't know what to say. Look at that. Just... Oh, so beautiful. BMW M3 competition. We got bolster adjustments right here. So these suckers go in and out. We got heated steering wheel. We got heads up display. We got, I think, gesture control, like a bunch of random jazz in this car that I just searched up by VIN. So let's go through the good stuff. Look at this, let's sit inside. Oh, I can't wait to rip this thing. Guys, y'all don't even know how excited I am. Unfortunately, I only have one key, but at least I have a key, you know, so that's good. Look at that, just a little dusty, obviously, but it's beautiful. Let's zoom out. Let me show you guys the cockpit views. Look at that, just so perfect. I don't know, everything is USB-C now. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and um, open that up right there. Once we get some power to it, I'll show you guys more of the display settings and stuff. But we do have a little bad side to this interior as well. And that is the fact that that ripped right there. So that's ripped. But you know what? Since I love this car so much and I'm planning to keep it, I'm probably going to get a brand new headliner. I didn't want to get it repaired just because just I want a brand new one in here. Anyways, moving on forward, we have left curtain airbag blown, right curtain airbag blown, seatbelt locked up here, knee airbag here, and driver airbag here. So I'm going to go ahead and scan the fault codes and see what other airbag codes are lit. But so far, I'm extremely happy that that one is not blown because that would have been a pain in the butt. Look at this mirror. I just noticed that. It's super futuristic. Not futuristic, but like has no bezel. Super nice. Nice and clean. Everything is perfect. I love this interior. Attention to detail. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Nice and glossy trim. Oh, gosh. And then this is just insane. I have no words for this. BMW, I love y'all for this. One day I'll be in a BMW commercial. And um, yeah, <laughs> look at this, it's so glossy. You can literally see the reflection of that. It's like, yeah, I can do my hair in there, what the heck? Anyways, rear seats are beautiful as well. Nice little M stripes on the seat belts. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, let's check out the actual damage. All right, guys, now let's go to uh, the painful part of the vehicle. So we have the front bumper destroyed. That lip is wrecked. On the auction pictures, it was looked safe, but wasn't expecting it to be safe. Um, mirror, front mirror stolen. Sorry, mirror. Camera stolen. I saw it in the auction pictures as well. We have one sensor here. Harness is missing, two sensors. Uh, sensor. Anyways. It's gonna be expensive to get that front end together. 
Another thing is this. I honestly was expecting a damage like this, but not like this, this in particularly. Why I say that, cha chow. Why I say that is because the damage went like right here, just like ka chow, right in there, and it damaged all the radiators, everything, even the main radiator is leaking. And look at that, coolant leaking out of the main radiator. Makes me wanna cry, honestly. All right, is this something that is scary? No, not really. It doesn't look like it has any frame damage or anything like that. It's just basically front end. Seems like the aprons, the frame rails, everything's in a spot, so that's good. This headlight should, in theory, just pop out of there. Headlights, 2000 used, not cheap, but I'm very happy that it has the BMW laser headlights. Oh, I love these headlights. Dude, y'all don't even know the upgrades or the, 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 the new things that BMW put into their cars. It just hit the spot for me, like every single piece. Look at this. Here's a frame rail, and it looks like it's an aluminum frame rail, and it does not look like it's bent. BMW has these frame rail extensions that usually bend a lot softer, a lot easier than the actual frame rail, but we will not know until we get this vehicle torn apart and damaged assessed, which is gonna be in the next video. We're gonna tear apart this entire car, and I'm gonna do a gnarly parts list. There's just gonna be like this, cause I wanna restore this thing to absolutely factory spec with every single part being brand new in OEM. So yeah, take a look down here. Look at this. I thought that was a subframe at first and I got scared, but that's not. I think it's bolt on right here. And I'm hoping that the subframe here is not damaged. It, it looks like it's together because this is just an ex a, like a additional piece. So it has one additional piece and then another additional piece. This is the oil cooler we obviously made it you know a complete cycle so so the oil wouldn't burst out of the vehicle and um yeah another thing is this iaa actually i don't know what they used but they just manhandled this hood i'm talking manhandled like look this is the hood hinge and those are the like the rivets that are supposed to be inside here and those bad boys they don't come out at 200 miles per hour i have no idea they just, whew, i don't even want to talk about it this one just got bent up and then this, like, man, look at this. This is a cable that opens the hood. Like, come on, like, who rips it like this? Like, seriously, hang on. Look, look at that. Freaking idiots. But anyways, this headlight is safe. One tab is damaged right here. Hopefully nothing else under there is damaged. It does turn on, does function. The lens is great condition and it's Mylar wrapped. So we're good on that. Um, motor is good. Motor started up. Drove, drove in, out, run solid, run smooth. I did hit up the old owner. I said, hey, how was the motor? Was there any issues? How, was there a tune on it or anything? He said everything was phenomenal, so I'm super happy about that. What do you guys think about this vehicle in the comment section? Let me know down below. Let me know what kind of mods, what kind of, I'm thinking CSL front grill. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then it changes up this grill, because a lot of people don't like this grill. I love this grill. I love the fact that BMW actually changed something. They didn't leave it the same since 1950, you know, like the two kidney grills. I mean, yeah, it's the two, two kidney grills, but they're much bigger, they're much, they're different. I love the fact that it's changed. It might not look the best, but it's changed. And we're going to a direction where BMW is innovating. It's making itself better, nicer, cleaner, something different. And I love that. And personally, if you don't like these grills, I love them. And that's kind of all that matters because this is my vehicle, <laughs> but I love them. So that's that. Besides that, um, let's go ahead and start this vehicle up. I want, to tell, I, want to, I want you guys to listen to the motor for at least like 30 seconds. And then one unexpected damage that I didn't see was this wheel. This wheel is torn out, so we have a control arm that's bent, and we, or yeah, a control arm that's bent and popped out out of its socket. And then we have a tie rod that's bent. Not super expensive, but it's kind of unseen damage because the vehicle looks like it's perfect on the, you know, right now you can't tell it has any suspension damage. So yeah, guys, that is it. Let's get this thing washed up, cleaned up, give it a couple of looks and, um, Another thing is, this merch here is down in the link below. This is an old merch. I just brought it out of the archives because I thought it was kind of sick and it was just kind of left at my house. But I will make some merch and I do want to continue promoting my brand and my merch. So stay tuned for that kind of stuff. Look at this, BYB. We got the pulley right here. We got the main pulley. Then we got throttle bodies. So it's kind of a cool little design. I'm mic'd up right here. So that's why I have a little bump over there but anyways guys let's get the windows closed start up this vehicle hear what it sounds like and get it washed up with a little pressure washer and um i'm super excited to start the next episode where i can tear apart this entire beauty and see how much money i'm going to spend on parts comment down in the comment section let me know what you guys think the parts will run for this thing
vehicle key missing. Let me get you guys this mic sound. You guys hear that? Motor runs perfect. It might sound a little ticky on camera, but that's normal. Listen to the exhaust. You know, I love this mic. Super quiet, super stock. Let me show you guys the inside display real quickly. Look at that. It is so beautiful. Oh gosh. Anyways, bunch of errors, but I don't want to run it for long. I don't want to run this bad boy for long. Look at that. 10,700 miles. I don't know why it says right low beam malf malfunction. Like, come on, seriously. Besides the fact that the mirrors are stolen, I think the biggest downside to this car is the fact that it's low on gas. 25 miles left. <laughs> IAA, y'all better refine me some money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My goodness oh my goodness I just got done pressure washing it I'm not gonna wash it fully but man, look at that color just look at that color it's like more orange than red but I am NOT complaining this thing is just absolutely gorgeous so beautiful so sick oh my goodness all right right now what we're gonna do is go ahead and try to get this thing back inside that bay we're gonna probably put a wheel dolly or something here because this wheel, once you start reversing, it just goes like bends up into that radiator. Not a good situation. Said good job. <laughs> oh. Oh. The jack got stuck for a second. Hopefully, it didn't break anything. I'm good here. All right, guys, we got the car inside the shop. It was a pain in the butt, as you guys can tell, but it is what it is. Next episode, we're gonna crank this puppy up into the air start tearing it apart, and I want you guys to comment down below what do you think the quote for all the parts is gonna be from the BMW dealership, because there's no used parts for this thing. I guess the only used part I bought was a control arm. So yeah, in the next episode, we're tearing it apart, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to smash that like button. But right now, I wanna show you guys a little tour of my office, come inside. So this room is still getting worked on. I don't know what video you guys stopped on watching, but this, uh, this place is kind of getting some, it's kind of a, a misc room, miscellaneous room right now. But the office, I kind of started working on it. As you guys can tell, the lighting is nice and bright in here. Step aside, nice and warm. We got this place heated up. Oh. This office here is for my social media manager. He likes to snack, he's not the healthiest, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. We're gonna get a mini fridge in here, probably a TV somewhere here, you know. Kinda sucks that there's no window. This is my workstation where I'm gonna be editing and then um, trying to, I'm trying to make a really nice comeback to YouTube. And uh, alongside with that new build, the G80, I guess this is my official comeback, so smash that like button, show me some support, and let's go. But 
this is gonna be my social media marketer place right here. He's the person that's gonna be managing and um, help me with editing, help me with TikToks, Reels, everything like that, making sure that my social media is up to, up to date. And the reason why, because I realized with a big fan base, I have 330,000 uh, subscribers. It's not a crazy amount, but it's a lot of people and a lot of people are actually, um, they want my, how do I say, they want my, um, they want me to be active, they want me to be alive, and they, a lot of people rely on me for getting content, happiness, and stuff like that, and I actually enjoy doing this. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button down below, comment your thoughts and ideas, and then don't forget to follow me on Instagram at BYBTim. Don't forget to cop yourself some merch right here, extremely limited run, and I guess that's gonna be a wrap. On to the next one, I cannot wait to show you guys the tear part of this video and a part estimate to this build. So yeah, you guys have a blessed one, and I'm gonna get to grinding.